This is the 40 inch MSI Mag 400. Yada yada. Now I have the Dell 1440p 27 inch that I'm really liking, but I thought I would step up and change the monitor. And this, as you can see, is not a ultra wide monitor, but rather flat 40 inch 1440p monitor. Now I tested the ultra wide ones, but I didn't really like them. I work with a lot of development, iOS programming, graphics, some video. And here is my reflections on the choice of monitor. First of all, the size. It's like really huge. So it turns out that I don't use all of this real estate, all of this space. For example, my usual setup is having Xcode in the up in the main monitor and then I have the Safari on my MacBook where I do all of the browsing and searching and I work on top. Now the problem here is that and what I noticed with my 27 inch is that my setup was usually something like this. So you cover the simulator well, and then you worked. Uh, I, I'm not fond of that feature on. Anyhow, so you worked like this and when you build you swap to the monitor and checked out and then you went back and that worked fine sure but then i thought if you had a bit of more space to the right something like this it would be nice and as you can see now this bit part the right part of the monitor i'm barely using and i noticed immediately i'm talking about within 20 minutes that i'm getting a bit of neck strength so my neck hurts a bit and because it's so flat and I stopped using this part so definitely uh, 40 inch is too large if you want anything beyond 34 inch I think you need to get the wide ultra wide like the curved versions however then you need to like the wide you know the curving which I did not like when I'm designing so that was part one the second issue that I had with this monitor is the PPI or the pixel intensity and it's too, it's the, the screen is too large basically. So when you go into the Mac and you see, I don't know if you can see it on the video, but it's crystal sharp. Well, it's a retina display, MacBook Pro M1, but here it's, it's not scaled, but it's almost as if it's not crystal sharp. It's a bit, it's a bit. Uh, blurry just a bit but it's not like crystal sharp especially here in the corners you can see it so I'm not very fond of this uh, it's too large basically you need to have a higher resolution for this so if you go to unsplash and you take well any photo basically I don't know let's take some good photo for example this one and on the Mac you can see it's sharp and it's nice but when you take the same photo and put it here it's it's hard to describe but the details are not as exact as they were on the Mac and uh, mind you the HDR on this really really sucks which, which brings me to point number three let me show you. So if you go into this settings and you put the, uh, you select HDR on, it really gets, it's like really, really bad. Like look at the colors, the white, it's like everything just, it looks really, really strange. Despite having, I've tested different color profiles, it doesn't help. And now I cannot change anything on the uh, on the uh, on the you know the contrast and brightness. Nothing works at all. So HDR is a no go. You need to set it up yourself. And let me go back to the unsplash screen and take like any photo here with some colors, some colors. Yeah, for example, this one. And you check it out here. How nice it is. And then you 
put it here. And it's like, I don't know if you can see it, but the, the colors are off. It's not the same as on the retina. Let me do it like this, for example. Uh, yeah, it's like more bleached, more white. Uh, it lacks the same amount of detail. The, the the black isn't as black as hair. It's like I don't. It's not bleached out somehow. It's far more obvious when you're sitting and looking at it. So the third point is the HDR and the color accuracy is not good at all. Another thing that is really irritating, this is Mac specific, but it's that I have an external drive mounted to the screen uh, and it works. But it uh, at night, when I go to sleep and I come back, the monitor has turned itself off in a way that it stops low, like charging my, I see this from the battery, that it has stopped charging the battery and the drive is unplugged and i don't understand why i need to reboot the screen to turn it off and turn it on in order for it to wake up again and the fifth thing that is really irritating is this uh, no name external it has some sort of storage which has some auto run and url files and website for i don't even know what this is and this is like where does this come from it's probably from the screen, but to have that on my screen, on my desktop every time I, I have the monitor connected, that's a real bugger. So my, my solution is that, or conclusion is that I will return this. I will not have a 40 inch monitor. Rather, I'm thinking of going for a 32 inch 4K monitor instead. So stay tuned for that review. Thank you and goodbye.